Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. So today we are doing another revisit and my whole purpose for doing these, starting this revisit series was because I wanted to primarily look at products that I had used for you like on camera or review that just didn't work out and I wanted to give the products another chance on camera. Now sometimes I have since the first review worked with these products a little bit more and paired them up with things that I found have worked that I'm pretty sure will work on camera again for you. And sometimes I do not play around with them as much. And then there are other times I do a revisit and it's not so much because the product didn't work for me, but maybe because like I got an additional product in that line and I want to feature that as well. So the reason that we're here today is for the first reason. And so we are back with the curls sea moss collection and so this is the primary product i will be featuring i will be doing something else with that as well you know what actually let me explain when i did my curls sea moss video earlier this year i did not actually feature this product so you guys never got to see this mousse or foam rather and that's because they had two stylers they had or two kind of sets of stylers in my opinion they had the milk and this foam and then they also had a, they called it a slime or a gel. And the gel slime that they recommended just to use by itself, not with any of the other products. So that's why I did. Now I had worked with this at the same time as using the slime, basically like within a couple wash days of each other. And this I just did not like. It reminded me of like the Curls Blueberry Bliss. Curl, I cannot talk today, sorry. It reminded me of the Curls Blueberry Bliss foam. And I have gotten that to work for me somewhat. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have paired up the same products today as what I found worked with the Blueberry Bliss foam. Oh well, I already have a product that I've picked to pair with this foam. And so we're gonna start out with that other product today. What I have here today that we're going to pair with it is the AG Curl Fresh Definer. And just the other day I took, I did like a swatch on my arm of several different products actually. This was one of them and I paired it with a foam to see if it mixed well, it did. The other two that I paired to see like the mixed test um, were the, it was the Weed Egg Climate Control Feather Light Styling Cream, something like that, and also the Leave-In Detangler. And they all seem to mix pretty well together, but I just decided to go with this. It's been a while since I've used this, so, one thing I will say, when I did go to use this, I forgot how liquidy this can be. And I feel like maybe it's gotten more liquidy with time, but it just poured out all over. So I'm gonna be very careful putting this into my hands. And I can't hardly show you here what we're working with, but maybe you can see that. It's just running down. And my hair is already pretty well detangled. I might add some more water to it for the brush styling, but that's one side. Let's get some more for the other side. If you remember any of my revisits, I also featured this product, this AG Curl Fresh Definer in another one of my revisits. And because I didn't like this, I used it by itself. I didn't really care for it, especially my day one results were not looking so hot. So, and my day two, my day two results weren't bad, but anyways, I decided to pair this with the Biolage styling gel, and that seemed to work pretty good. Okay, so I took a brief intermission there. My husband was just in the next room making a little bit of noise, so he was just finishing up breakfast and everything. So I basically just wet my hair down and pinned it up, and I have like. Sometimes I get this when I pin up my hair like this and then I snag a hair that has gotten partially caught up. And yeah, it's just one of those things. Do any of you deal with that as well? Okay, so there, there it goes again. I should, like, why? Why? One eternity later. Okay, so that one little, like, hair that was snagging and getting caught because it was partially up in this caused a whole lot of chaos that you didn't see on camera i had to take this all out and start all over again basically but i have been enjoying doing this brush styling 
kind of like this method that Amanda Guido does where I pin part of this up and focus on the bottom section first, brush styling that, and then moving on to the top section doing more of like a herringbone technique up there. I found that it helps keep the part so it's not so much of a part that I don't have so much of a center part issue. And I've also found that it just, it gives me maybe a little bit more volume on top. I've heard a couple people say that before for me. And it's easier than brush styling upside down. Although I do like my results of when I brush style upside down, not on camera, but it's just such a hassle to try to do it on camera. So I'm going to fast forward through this, actually probably just skip ahead, and I'll come back when we're getting ready to apply the foam. Okay, just taking these clips out here after I've brush styled the top section. I still have to scrunch that in yet, the top. But I like to kind of flip side to side and do that a little bit. Now, as I've mentioned, this CMOS foam, which you, I guess you never saw on camera, did not work out for me. It was very heavy. It was very, it just left my hair feeling producty and heavy, basically. I tried it since my first experiment with it. And that first time I used it that I said it was producty and heavy, I used the hair milk with it that came from the same line. And I think the curls hair milks do not agree with me. At least that's kind of the conclusions I'm drawing. So I tried pairing this as well with my Aussie hair insurance leave-in conditioner, one that I love. It was lightweight. I felt like maybe this would give it a better chance, but I think I went in with a little bit more foam than I needed because thinking I was using such a lightweight product and it still felt gunky and producty on my hair. So I'm hoping that this AG definer will give me like the definition or at least start to give me the definition for my curls. And then when I go in with the foam, I can go in with a very light amount that will hopefully provide me a little bit more hold than what just the cream would do. So let's flip upside down and we'll get into this. I am going to get my hair just a little bit more wet. I've been re-wetting it kind of before and after brush styling. And then I think I'm only going to do two pumps of the foam. It doesn't look like much. Let me emulsify it in my hands and see how that, but it gives me very much like a filmy feeling on my hands. So yeah, I don't want to go in with more than that at this point. Let's just glaze that all over and scrunch. My instinct is to go in with more, but my gut is telling me, hold off. So, I don't know, instinct might win out here, folks. Like I said, that did kind of leave, it didn't look like much in my palms, but that did kind of leave a film on my hands, which was pretty easy to spread into my hair. but I think I am gonna go in with just one more pump. And this one, I'm just gonna focus more on scrunching, not so much the glazing. I started to try to glaze it, but I just wanna scrunch this one, I think. All right, I have my hair double shower capped for my wet plopping like I usually do. I'm gonna sit like this for 10 minutes at least, maybe 15, diffuse, and then I'll come back and we'll see what we're working with at that point. All right, curl friends, are you ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! What do you think? I mean, okay, let's get a closer look here, first of all. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I've got curl definition underneath here like look at this look at this curl she's curling good i like it and i've got curl definition on top it's a little looser spirals but still very beautiful and there's the side i'm liking it i'll get you a little 
Look at the back here. So overall, I have good definition, I feel like, good volume. There is a little bit of frizz here in some areas, and that just might have been like the product didn't get fully applied there. There's a few other areas that just, just a little bit of frizz, but not bad. The hold is very soft, I will say that. I don't know how long this will last without using hairspray, so I'm not even going to try because I want my hair to last. But otherwise, I do like my hair today. So I am excited. I think I found another combo. The more I got to thinking about this combination, the more this kind of reminded me of the one that I used with the Blueberry Bliss Mousse in that the Curl Fresh Definer I feel like is very similar in consistency and even maybe results with the Your Curly Girl Soft Defining Custard. And then I also used the Dippity Doo Gel with that, I believe, if I remember correctly. So I didn't use the gel today, but I do feel like these maybe have similar properties with the other experiment that I did with the Curls Blueberry Bliss Mousse. So overall, I am liking this. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I do have some bigger curl clumps here that I will be breaking up, I feel like. And look at that, I'm frizzing it too when I'm doing that. But I guess, I guess that just adds to the volume, right? Uh-huh. That's what I'm telling myself. So I should stop playing with it. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. I really appreciate hearing from you. If you enjoy this kind of content, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out liking this channel, subscribing if you haven't already, and might as well share this with a friend that you think might enjoy it as well. So until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.